All right, it's that time once again for another Alterac Valley, October the 16th, 2023. Looks like we got 16 Maniacs in the house, and I shot the Sheriff is in here on my Hunter. So let's see what we got going on. I'm going north on the Hunter. That's interesting. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, and notification bell. I haven't done this on the Hunter for a while, actually. I used to do this on the Rogue, you know, and try to help secure the graveyard. Looks like we are bypassing him, though. We didn't actually engage them at the IBT choke. We all went north. Interesting strategy. Something different, right? Taking out the few that are here. Heading back to Snowfall. We got to tap on everything midfield. I guess we're going to have to go back and back cap and clean up everything. They are on Galv. Galv is at 53%. Yeah, sometimes, man, you have to, like, change it up because they will know your play coming a mile ahead if you just keep doing the same thing over and over and over. Get that Priest Zero down. Priest Zero is down. Galb's going to be reset for sure. They have a ton of people that are all up in our base. The people that we kill are going all the way back to Storm Pike Graveyard. Hopefully we are good to go everywhere else. We might have some issues though. We'll see. IBT, there's not a ton in here. We should be able to clear it out. Yep, I'll take that killing blow. Here is a druid that was stealth. Pops out and should drop here. Yep, another killing blow, man. Keep them coming. Back cap those. Recall into the base. What do they have in here? A lot. Try to rush in and go into the towers first. I'd pop turtle just so I can get up here. We want to try and back cap everything. All this time we're taking down here though with them. That prevents them from going to back cap ice wing and stone hearth graveyard and stuff in the midfield. Hopefully we can wipe them. We will figure it out and see how it goes I guess. Oh man. Stunned. Intimidated. No. I don't want to be intimidated. And we got an evoker in here. There's a healer in here. Shoot. See if we can take out something, man. I'm getting hit up pretty good now. They're starting to focus fire me. Might have to go out of here, yeah. Try to hide a little bit. Use any kind of heals I got. Shoot. At the time, I didn't realize, man, but my alt 7 key was a heal. <laughs> Plus, I didn't use my wall or anything. I still got wall as well. Man. Still trying to help finish them. I'm almost down, though. I'm trying to, like, stay out of LOS. Finish the evoker. I went down finally. Let's go in the other one. They're going to burn both in our base. Man, that's going to give them a pretty good lead here, right? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, man. Well, we'll see how it goes. We got to recover from this for sure. Taking them out. Pally's down. Can we back cap anything? We did back cap east, so we got one. Did not get west, though. Just barely lost west. They don't have the graveyard tapped. It's just now finally capped. So anybody that dies now will spawn here. We have to take them out. Score is pretty close, neck and neck. They got one burn, we got one burn, so we did salvage east at least, <laughs> right? Pushing into the graveyard, now we got to reclaim the graveyard. They have snowfall tapped. Looks like it is going to cap because it's only got 35 seconds left and we don't have anybody anywhere near it. We are starting to wipe them, cap this graveyard here. Bad part is, is we have to have someone sit here and watch it, make sure it actually caps fully for four minutes. Wiping them there in the res point. Some of them healers, they're going all the way to Stormpike Graveyard. If we get them down and looted before three seconds, nope, they're going to go to Snowfall. Man, I don't like that. Put them at Snowfall there where they got advantage in the midfield where they can pretty much take whatever they want in that midfield. We are going to finish wiping them, though. Our defense is going to have to start getting back to the choke point and clearing them out. We made it up this way. We got people pushing Snowfall. That's good. The Rocket Man almost took me way past the graveyard there. Whoops. <laughs> we have lost Stone Hearth Graveyard. Sometimes Stealthies can sneak back and reclaim it, though. That's what you need to be looking out for. They're trying to take over our graveyard here. They just put a tap on IBT. Yeah, buddy. Team fight action here. I don't know if we have enough people here to wipe them, though. We still spawn here as long as we keep him off of the graveyard flag. I'm going to use turtle there and try to go up this cliff. Get up here, up top. Explosive trap, knock them off. I got the mage chasing me. Knock them off with the explosive shot there. <laughs> Watch that flag. Do you see anybody capping it? Yes, they got it. They already tapped it. In my confusion running up the cliff here, I was unable to spin the flag. They have a lot of graveyards. Oh, no, I'm going to have to glider off of that. I would have been history. Heading over to TP. We managed to get IBT back. Still got people pushing all three graveyards, it looks like. Snowfall, Stonehearth Graveyard, and IBT. 
plus IBGY's graveyard. Man, all over the place. We're kind of split. A lot of people are resurrecting now. Hopefully we can regroup here and finish wiping them. They're not even trying to really put a lot of pressure on IBT because they want to hold this graveyard. If they hold this graveyard, it might be history for us, man. Sometimes, man, your plans don't work out so well and you have to call on some audibles here. They're winning in HKs right now, 534 to 517. They have both mines, so they're gaining reinforcements back. We are going to wipe them here, it looks like. Reclaim Ice Blood Graveyard. Our graveyard and our base is already fully kept back to us. The mage interrupts us one last time, and that should be it. Heading over here to put a tap on Icewing. Put a tap on Icewing for a distraction. See if I can take out this rogue from here. Not quite. Smoke bomb. <laughs> Glider into it. Too late for the smoke bomb, but evasion is finally down. Rogue should actually die here. We might be able to take this graveyard, too. They have a lot of people that resurrect at Snowfall still, so there won't be a ton that resurrect here. I am still in Icewing here, watching for people coming in. It's got 2 minutes and 21 seconds. If we don't get more people in here, we're not going to be able to hold this. They're putting a tap on IBT and Ice Blood Graveyard right now. We got taps all the way north, though. Nobody really up there guarding, so we just lost North Bunker. That's kind of sucks sometimes there. And taking out the rogue that's coming in here. We got to burn this one, man. We don't have much choice. This has to be a burn. We need more people in here. There's some traps. Got him stuck in the trap there. Bear trap. Or steel trap, I guess you could call it. <laughs> Taking out the warlock now. Watch out for them ports. Don't stack up. Oh, tried to knock him out. There we go. Finally got him knocked out of there. Looks like we got 34 seconds to go. I'm going to help Stone Hearth Graveyard because we said they had somebody that was up here. Yeah, the shaman knocked them off. They got their pet out too. We hold this graveyard. We will have an offensive move. We got to make sure our team, though, resurrects there at Frostwolf Graveyard and reclaims IBT. We don't want to do any more trades at this point. They are ahead of us on score by over 100 points. We need this Ice Wing Burn, and we need to reclaim IBT. Looks like we just got it. Nice. And Tower Point is 340 left, so we should have more than enough time to get it back. Score is getting closer now. 409 to 356. This graveyard still got two minutes to go before it caps, so we can actually have an offensive team. We need more people here. Probably the best play now is for everybody to reclaim Ice Blood Graveyard and then shoot north up here to reinforce Stone Earth Graveyard. Might want to take out Belinda. We might want to just go north and burn the two in their base. Time will tell what's going to happen next, man. This one's a nail-biter, man. It's back and forth. I like it. All these matches like this, man, they're a lot more competitive and a lot more fun for sure. And they definitely are a lot more satisfying when you pull them off, too. Cloak of Shadows is gone. Finish the rogue. Oh, I have to trink it, maybe? Yeah, I trinketed it a little late. I probably should have trinketed it earlier. Oh, man, I'm getting hit up now. I couldn't even turtle. They reclaimed the graveyard. Now we're going to have to go ahead and fully push with the entire team again. That kind of sucks for them, though. That was a bad move, really, for them to wipe us. They should have just let some of us stay north up there. Because now they got to deal with our entire team right here at the choke. It's not going to be a good fight for them. When we got 40 people here, and they still have people that, you know, are all over the map. So I'm heading over to IBT. I'm going right up that way. Drop some traps on the way. Still turtled, so I'm deflecting a few hits. Priest is almost down. Knock them out of here, maybe? Oh, nope. Just kill them. <laughs> Recap. Drop some explosive traps here. Come on, hurry. Oh, I missed it just barely, man. Barely missed that explosive trap to knock out the Druid Healer. They did cap Ice Blood Graveyard, so that's great news for us now. Now, the thing is, do we want to actually try and reclaim Stonehearth Graveyard, or do we just go all the way north to Storm Pike Graveyard, burn the last two bunkers, our one, and just go all in? That is the question. We will find out soon. I'm going to go down here. I got nothing left, man. Yeah, this time, man, I've totally forgot about my heals. I got another heal there on Alt-7. <laughs> And I still have, you know, wall too. I didn't use wall either. There's my heal. There's my wall, finally. <laughs> For some reason, I it clicked. Oh, yeah, you got some more heals. What are you doing? I don't have any damage, though, so I couldn't do anything there. We got to reclaim IBT. It's close. We got a lot of people that are going up in there, trying to stop the ones on foot. 
Hopefully someone is watching Ice Bud Graveyard, man, because they might just back cap it right back behind us and we'll have to do all this all over again. We're trying to keep all the healers down here so they don't make it up there. Priest is almost down. We did get the cap on it. Yeah, buddy. And we just lost Ice Bud Graveyard. Yeah, something told me, man. Yeah, they're going to go and reclaim Ice Bud. <laughs> we had nobody sitting there guarding it, man. Score is getting really close, though. 344 to 339, so it's pretty neck and neck. We are wiping them here by Galv again. We got to keep this pressure up. Hopefully we have a team that's resurrecting that will be easily to take the graveyard back. We don't really want to split here and lose our momentum we had going for us. Yep, I'm heading back to the graveyard, it looks like. IBGY, the raid call. <laughs> I just now realized, oh yeah, we lost it. And we got a tap on East in our base. They got 4-5 over here. See if we can start getting some AoE damage. I got an instant cast aim shot. Trying to take the Shaman down. Rapid fire. Kill shot. Yep, one's down. They got quite a few of them back here, actually. Always smoke. Ah, that would be why they resurrect there. <laughs> they have the graveyard fully capped. So everybody that dies that's anywhere near the vicinity will resurrect here. Got to get all this stuff back. They got to tap on IBT again, too, man. They're trying to keep the pressure up. We are ahead barely in score by one point. It's getting close, man. Very too close for comfort. We need everybody back to Ice Blood Graveyard. Everyone's trying to push in the field there by Galv towards Snowfall, but we got to clear this graveyard again. This time, someone's going to have to sit here and babysit it to make sure it fully caps. We got to get our base back. We got to get IBT back. Man, this is an action packed match here. Oh, IBGY, go, go, go. <laughs> I did the raid warning too. Trying to take out some of them healers, though. A lot of them are going up on top of the hill. We got people falling back. No, they're still pushing Snowfall and Stonehearth Graveyard. <laughs> oh, man, I don't like that at all. Going back for IBT. They already got it back, looks like. But I'm going to help clear them out. We're going to have to just do a full re-push, I guess. East Tower's got a minute 53, so hopefully we got people back in our base. We're getting hit up pretty good now. I might go down here. Oh, just barely they took him out. Woo! Back in the field here now. Taking out the Paladin. Are we just going to let them have Ice Blood Graveyard at this point and just try to hold the towers? Points are really close, man. Neck and neck here. Do we take Snowfall and just try to cold kill Belinda? Trying to see what's going on at Snowfall. They have a Paladin up there. I'm pulling the guards. You can pull two at a time at Snowfall. For whatever reason, all four guards are not linked together. Here comes the Paladin. Maybe I can knock him. Uh, trinket knock. Come on. Explosive trap. There it is. But the other two guards are still there. Oh, no, I can cap it. Got it. Okay. Well, that's something, maybe. We'll see what happens. I'm going to see if I can get Stoneheart Graveyard, too. Maybe get Stoneheart Graveyard, and then we can all just rush Belinda there. Take Belinda out for a free 100 points. They can't really get to Galv, either, so... As long as we keep Galv and kill Belinda, we'll be ahead in score. Capping it now. Anyone in the field, go Belinda. Let's go. I'm not even going to sit here and watch the graveyard. We're going all in. This is all of our eggs in this basket here. Let's take out the Captain Belinda Stone Hearth. And we got it, man. They didn't send anybody there. They did reclaim the graveyards behind us and put a tap on IBT. That's too bad. We're heading back to IBT now. There is four up in here. Man. Sweaty up in this tower, man. They really want these towers. They got TP as well. Score is so close, man. Man. Neck and neck. Lots of sweat going off here. <laughs> Woo. Come on, man. Take something out. Mage. Mage, mage, mage. Yep. Mage is down. Hunter next. Hunter next. Man, this will be clutch if we can get this one back too because they really thought they had this one burned. I'm going to put some explosive traps down. Maybe most of the people got knocked out of here. Take out the hunter. Heap stack. Finish him. Come on. There he goes. Oh, got him. Hurry up. Cap, cap, cap. <laughs> Woo, got it back. Now we can try to head to tower point. We took a tap on snowfall, and we got a tap on north bunker, and that's interesting. I went stealth here to see if I can help tower point. They got way too many in here, man. They might burn tower point. Looks like they are getting it stacked. I'm going up top with a turtle just so I can run past some of these traps here. Ouch. And don't run off the edge. <laughs> Sometimes, man, you just run. You sit there typing and run right off of the ledge. Oh, they ported them. They got it back. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. 
Yeah, Shadow Rift has saved the game once again. There goes somebody there. I knocked off an explosive trap. They're trying to rush up in here again. Use my explosive shot there to knock some more off. And we can get inside there. Nope. I got knocked off. Turned around midair, disengaged, got back up on the ramp. Now I'm going up in here to help take out the Evoker. Woo! Man, that was a clutch move right there. Knock some more people out of here. We have South tapped. We are winning the HK farm right now, just barely. But like I said, we got an extra tower burned. Shoot. And we killed Belinda too. Have they taken out Galv? I don't know if they have. They may not have gotten Galv yet. I'll take that killing blow there. We are going to push the next graveyard. We got to hold these mines. They got a couple in our mines, so I'm helping clear out the Demon Hunter here. Hopefully it's a free kill for us. Oh, man, I don't have aspects of the Cheetah to chase. Shoot. Had to turn around and disengage. He's got Blur up. Finish him. He's down. Another HK. And we got Ice Blood Graveyard. At this point, we probably should just hold the choke point and farm out the 88. That's what I think we're going to do here. Got frozen at the bottom. Fat fingers my button to open up my bags. And I'm going to rush up here. Threw on a wild truffle just in case they have anything to try to port. Oh, no. They got a ton up in here. We definitely have to port them out of here. That's the only way we're going to clear this out. They put all their eggs into this basket. They want to burn Ice Blood Tower at any cost. We are starting to take some of them out. I need to quickly turtle here in Hellstone. Everything I had turtled. Shoot. Trying to get some of them to chase me out. Maybe I can knock some of them out of the tower here. Come on, chase, chase, chase. Chase me, man. That's what I want. Some of them are getting knocked out. Shoot, come on. Get up in this tower, man. This is going to be close. If we can wipe them here, we pretty much have won this match, I think. Close, man. 78 to 146. Lags going off, man. Too much action and AoE effects going off inside of the tower. Come on, man. We got to take them out. Oh, knocked out. Tried to disengage back. Didn't quite make it in here. Taking out the Evoker on the downside. They're down. Mage is trying to rush up in here too. Looting bodies. Make sure they don't get any more battle reses off. We still have two minutes. We still can do this. We have people that are guarding Ice Blood Graveyard. Mage is almost down. Got him. Okay. I am slowed right now. Slow to get back up here. Looks like they got a port off. Just one Shaman left. Finish the Shaman. And they got the tap back. Nice. Yeah, that pretty much secured the victory for us here, I think. Check out IBT again and Tower Point. Nobody was in Tower Point. It was ghosted. Hold IBT choke. And there it is. Just hold the choke point. Take out the last 34. Reinforcements have been ticking down since the 30-minute mark in the match. All we need is another three minutes, and this match is over with. They have their mine and our mine, so it might be a little bit more than three minutes, but it takes a reinforcement down on both sides every 10 seconds now. Evoker is going to be another free kill. There we go, 22. Looting some more bodies. Only three left. We pretty much just pushed north and wiped the ones heading to Stone Earth Graveyard. Two kills, one kill. Finally, man. 27 and 5, man. Not bad. I will take it. Looks like, man, the two hunters at the top and then Demon Hunter Yagami as well. Killing Blows City, man. Sharder for the top heals. Fishy was number two. And for the top damage, we had Brick Grimes. May all of your random battlegrounds be epic. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. Until next time, GG for the Horde.